this. Welcome to Ms Mojo and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 clapbacks on reality shows. Number 10. You are a liar. The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. There have been a plethora of iconic Real Housewives clapbacks in Beverly Hills over the years and the Richard sisters are a big part of why. To this day, their tense season one limousine argument stands out as one of the franchise's most heated moments. That's largely because the fight culminates in Kyle accusing Kim of being an alcoholic, among other pretty serious things. You are a liar and sick and an alcoholic. Stop. Okay? My, you are an oh alcoholic. Yes, that's oh right. God. That's right. I've said it now and everybody knows. Number 9. This bitch is shaking the table. Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. There's nothing like a friendly meeting of the minds to settle a feud. At least that's what Mimi Faust presumably thought when she set up a lunch between herself, Kay Michelle and Carly Red. The quips began to fly and soon so did the threats. When the angry Carly shook the table between them, Kay Michelle was unimpressed. Try it! Try it! Try it! F*** with me if you want to, it's not a good day. Okay? Now back to the shaking the table. Number 8. Go back to Party City. RuPaul's Drag Race RuPaul's Drag Race has brought us so many epic rivalries over the years, but the season-long feud between Fifi O'Hara and eventual winner Sharon Needles was a sight to behold. When Sharon offered critiques of Fifi's leadership in the previous week's challenge, accusations of cutting critiques flew across the workroom. Sharon accused Fifi of being a tired-ass showgirl and O'Hara's fiery response quickly became the stuff of legend. At least I am a showgirl, bitch. Go back to Party City where you belong. Number 7. Fix Your Hair – Dance Moms Out of all the moms that passed through the Abby Lee dance company, Dr. Holly was by far the most poised and elegant. When the controversial dance teacher went after her daughter Nia's hair, Holly gave Abby some pointed tips of her own. Then fix this hair, because it's horrible. And why don't you fix your hair and fix your face and your body and everything else? Considering how much Miller put her and her child through over the years, it was long overdue. Number 6. Beyonce – Flavor of Love Tiffany New York Pollard was the reality TV gift that kept on giving. In this classic flavor of love scene, the lovably obtuse hottie said her fellow contestants were jealous of the fact that she looked like Queen Bey. New York quickly dispelled her of this notion, comparing her to another music icon instead. Beyonce, 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 you know, you know who you really look like? You look like Luther Van Drop. Number 5. You're a sad, pathetic person, The Hills. The show took it up several notches when Lauren accused Heidi and Spencer of spreading a rumor involving her and a sex tape. The couple denied doing so, and there was no just mending the fence from there. Conrad's infamous fighting words at their friend Frankie's birthday celebration were harsh, to be sure. The two ultimately had a devastating friend breakup, and that was it. Number 4. Close Your Legs to Married Men The Real Housewives of Atlanta When The Real Housewives of Atlanta premiered in 2008, it catapulted NeNe Leakes to reality TV stardom, and her rocky relationship with original castmate Kim Zolciak gave her some of her most memorable moments. When Kim's rocky romance with a married man dubbed Big Papa became a hot topic of discussion at the first reunion, Nini couldn't contain herself. When Zolciak pressed her further, Leeks offered up some sound, if unwelcome, advice. Close your legs to married men. Close, clo close your legs to married men. Number 3. I don't have a sugar daddy. RuPaul's Drag Race Untucked Drag Race Season 3 contestant Mimi I'm First accused Shangela of having a sugar daddy when the latter critiqued her lackluster runway look. 
Needless to say, it didn't go well for Mimi. Where did this bitch hear that I had a sugar daddy? Shangela launched into what was essentially a five-paragraph essay about how she does not, nay has never, had someone taking care of her financially. I don't have a sugar daddy. I've never had a sugar daddy. If I wanted a sugar daddy, yes, I probably could go out and get one because I am what? Sickening. You could never have a sugar daddy because you are not that kind of girl. It wasn't just a clapback. It was a monologue worthy of a Tony Award. Number two, prostitution <laughs> the Real Housewives of New Jersey. In what just might be the wildest moment in Real Housewives history, this episode saw Teresa Judice go up against co-star Danielle Staub. Her tirade included one of the most instantly quotable insults television has ever seen. There has to be something else. I was arrested. You are f***ing gay 19 times? You f***ing Number one, I was rooting for you, America's next top model. During cycle four of the show, supermodel and host extraordinaire Tyra Banks infamously lost it on contestant Tiffany Richardson. A sensible person would probably wonder what Tiffany could have possibly done to deserve this tongue lashing. Well, Tyra decided she wasn't sad enough about being eliminated. Sure, maybe this reaction was over the top and unreasonable, but isn't that what reality TV is all about? I was rooting for you! We were all rooting for you! How dare you! 